we're gonna record a video. We haven't done it forever. Okay, you're gonna help me? Hey guys, so I am finally coming back and I feel like the past few videos I've made have started with I'm finally coming back. But I am back to do an update. I have lots of information for you guys and just a document for us because there's just been so much going on in this last couple months. It's crazy. So last time I talked to you, he was about two months. I did a two month checkup with him. We were getting ready to go to Kansas for the first time with him flying. Um, I did go by myself with him since my husband had to work and he did amazing. He did not cry at all, um, which I did here. You could kind of expect that with his age being only, he was only like two and a half months at the time. Um, but he did so good and the air flight attendants, they were so, so kind. I did fly through Southwest, which we usually, we usually do fly through them because I love them. They're awesome. And there was no exception to also having a baby. They were awesome with a baby as well. So we did have a great trip. We saw and met up with um, a lot of YouTubers, which you guys may see. I'm not sure if Cassie's already put the video up, but she's making um, part one is already done of our trip. She vlogged and put together um, a video for us and for all of you guys to see um, of everybody that was on the trip. So if you want to see who all we met up with and how it went and just some of the fun stuff we did, then you should go check out Cassie Moon's channel, which I will put that link below. Um, but yeah, so Noah is four months now. Say hi. Say hi to four months. Say I'm four months. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. He's kind of, he's like being cuddly with me right now, which means he's either tired or just kind of out of it because he doesn't, he's already at the stage where he doesn't always cuddle. <laughs> Makes me sad. But he's four months and we did have his four month appointment. But before I go into that, before I, ugh, before I go into that, let me try that again. I want to say that we did go into the doctor for our first unplanned visit around three months, I want to say. Sure, it was pretty much like a week after I got back from Kansas. He was having some trouble with his stools. He, I noticed that he started having some um, blood and some mucus in his stool. And so I sent a picture, yes I did, to his doctor and um, just kind of asked what we should do, if she thought we should come in. And she thought we should. So we went in there, talked with her, and he wasn't having any other symptoms really besides being kind of fussy. So what they think it is is a food allergy. Oh, don't be fussy. Mama's talking to all of our friends. Want your passy? Want that? We'll see how long this lasts. Uh, because he wasn't having any other symptoms and the fact that my husband does have allergies, he was allergic to about every food under the sun when he was Noah's age and a little older. So we're pretty sure that it's that. Um, as of now, I've only um, eliminated dairy and soy and he's doing so much better. I mean, he hasn't had any more issues with his stools. He's not really as fussy, you know, for a, what a four month old would be. <laughs> he's kind of fussy. <laughs> They want to see you, I'm sure. And yes, he is wearing his Halloween pajamas right now. I figured, you know what? We pay for it. We might as well get as much use out of it as possible. Who cares if it's not Halloween anymore, huh? He's being really squirmy. Um, so that's that. His four month appointment went really well. He's, you know, he's meeting all the developmental markers that the doctors look for. Hey, what's that matter? Do you want to see yourself? Do you see yourself? Say hi. Say hi, everyone on YouTube. Say hi. <laughs> um, so he's meeting all the milestones, which um, is why she told me that he could start cereal um, just once a day for now. See how it goes. See if he's allergic to whatever I'm giving him. Um, but I don't know if I'm quite ready for that. He is still exclusively breastfed, so I'm not sure I'm ready to 
introduce it to him. Obviously, if like I think that he needs it, if he needs like more substance to eat or whatnot, I'll definitely start doing that. But he seems perfectly fine and he's gaining perfectly well. Oh, that was a burp. <laughs> he's gaining perfectly well now. Uh, just being exclusively breastfed. So he weighs 12 pounds, 10 ounces as of his appointment, and he's 24 inches long. So he is a shorty. According to the statistics, he's in the fourth percentile for weight and fifth percentile for height. His head circumference is like 40 percentile, so he's pretty much average on that, or he's fine. Um, so what else? Oh, another huge reason why I've been MIA is because... My sister, one of my sisters and I, um, we just started an online women's boutique, which is awesome. I've been so excited. And um, as you can imagine, having a four-month-old and starting a business at home, it can be pretty daunting. <laughs> you, A lot of you may have done it before or are doing it. And props to you guys because it is tough. It's really hard. Uh, my sister right now is in Kansas still. She'll be here in about a month. And so she'll be able to help more. But um, she's in Kansas right now, so I'm doing, like, the inventory and shipping. Oh, ho, ho. hey. It's okay. We're going to have to take a pause. Are we going to have to pause? We have to pause. We started the business about the beginning of November. Um, at this time, I hadn't really decided for sure 100% about going back to work. I mean... I would have loved to, but we were kind of testing our budget at the time to see if it was doable. And just to kind of hop all over the place one more time, I have officially resigned at my job that I was working at. Um, it was sad. I was sad to leave in a way because I had been there for almost, was it four or five years? Um, they were super nice though with the transition of leaving. And I went in, went in and saw everyone the day I had an interview to exit and they got to see Noah and meet him, and it was it was awesome. But, anywho, <laughs> we started the business about a month ago, um, and at that time I was, like, thinking about, like, am I going to be able to stay home with him and do the business and take care of him, or am I going to have to go back to work and run the business and take care of him? Uh, but I'm just thankful that I was able to stay home, and we will see the, how this goes. Um, it's really, it's been a really great experience so far. It's been stressful, but it's been awesome. Um, we're doing women's clothing right now, but eventually we want to integrate like, um, either like mommy and me clothes or just, you know, children's clothes in general. So it will be, uh, it'll be a task, but we're definitely excited about it. And it's something I've always been interested in doing is having a business from home and just like selling things and and also like interacting with people. Like I've interacted with a lot of small shops and I, the thing that stuck out to me the most is the owners that are just like tent attentive to like your needs and to your, just to you, you personally, it's not, you're not just a number, you're not just an order, you know, they, they actually take time to invest in you. And I think that's awesome. And that's exactly the kind of owner that I want to be. And I think that I'm striving to be currently. So, um, I will put that information below. I'm sorry I'm kind of all over the place because I didn't take notes. But I'll put our um, boutique information below. We're on Instagram and Facebook, and we do have a website. We are going back to Kansas here in a couple weeks, but this time Tim gets to come with me, and I'm super excited and thankful for that. Um, he will get to experience Noah on a plane for the first time, and it will probably be a lot different because, um, you know, Noah's now – bigger and he is more active and he moves around a lot more so I'm hoping that we have a good experience because I've talked up I've talked it up to him like oh he does great he's so good on the plane he's awesome but you know that's just part of him getting older it'll be new experiences for us so yeah we are going to be home for Christmas and hopefully we'll have a great experience I'm excited to see all my family again and just for more people to get to meet Noah and spend time with him. But other than that, I I will try to keep making updates. Um, right now, it's just been kind of tough because he demands a lot of attention, which he should. He's a baby. And then our job, or our job, our business as well, is just, you know, with all that going on, it's just been kind of hectic. But I will try to keep you guys updated. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Or if there's any 
thing you guys are interested in knowing about, just ask me. You know, I'm pretty open to answering questions. So um, if I do get enough questions, I could possibly, you know, do a Q&A because those are easier videos for me because I'm I kind of have a script to go off of. So if you guys do have any questions or concerns or concerns, I hope you don't have concerns, but if you do, leave them below and I will definitely get back to you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.